Is it time for bed? Hello and welcome to Wildflowers. It is a Thursday and today we'll finally, finally, finally get to see the winter solstice celebration. They probably wanted it to be like a, a snowy day, like this one. And, and then that's why they, um, they had it be that way, that the celebration would be the next day after you've uh, donated all the things, like after you've finished the quest. So basically, uh, the developers probably had the same idea about, you know, a snowy weather being perfect for a winter solstice celebration. Let's wear a bit of a special outfit. I think this one is my favorite out of all of the uh, more glamorous outfits that we have. Nothing to do in there. What about in here? Nope, not yet. Over here though. Yeah, we do need to visit Lena's shop. Um, maybe today, if we have time. We're completely out of fennel seeds. I think that's the only seed that we're completely out of. So we'll buy some of those. Madeline, here's an apple for you. Keep you as happy as possible while you're pregnant. So that we'll have as good a chance as possible to get that rainbow baby. Alright, truffles have been collected and um, pancake. Ooh, lime's your favorite. Okay. Good to know. Um, Molly is your favorite apple. Yep. We had already tried all of the other fruit, so it had to be apple. I think that's everybody who I needed to look after there. Didi? <gasps> Rainbow milk! Nice! Now we just need some pink feathers and... Uh, we can make the, um, what was it that we needed for that one outfit? I can't remember the name of it. I just remember that we needed rainbow milk and pig feathers for it. It won't be too many days until our little magical piggy has grown up so i'm sure we'll get the feathers soon as well nice to already have one of the ingredients though cleocatra oh such a good cat
<laughs> you still liked that, didn't you, kitty? Alright, let's go see if Lena's shop is open today. No. Oh, okay. Well, Bruno, hello? Fairhaven's changed so much, but the important parts haven't. Damon? Lena makes fun of me for getting up so late. But during the winter, the sun doesn't warm anything up till noon. So I'm just being heat efficient. <laughs> yeah, I guess you are. Kim? Give us full of surprises. I swear I get smarter every time we talk. Hmm. We usually don't have the time to go see Shelby. So, let's take the opportunity. My new pillow is like laying my head on a cloud. I slept like a baby last night. I look forward to going to bed now. You better take this, so I'm not tempted to use it too often. Another summon night spell. I had totally forgotten that we gave him those... Those, um... Duck feathers, right? I think it was duck feathers. Lena? It's so exciting to get to share all of who I am with Parker, but it's a little intimidating too. It's as if we're in the getting to know each other phase all over again. Tara, I've got butterflies. No, you had told us that before though. Hmm. Let's go and see the Fae. Zephyr? It's a perfect day! But then all days here are pretty perfect to tell you the truth. Sometimes I wish it would rain here. If only so I could practice catching lightning in a bottle. Ooh. Sounds dangerous. Wesley? If you'd like to stick around until closing, I'll walk home with you. Here you go, a bit of a winter warmer for you. Oh, I can't wait to drink some of this while reading the latest detective novels that came in. <laughs> I know we've already seen all of the possible dates that we can go on, but... It's always fascinating to see who comes in for what. Everyone seeks to create... something different. Hmm. Maybe it would be nice to see some of the dates that we've seen in other seasons during winter. Like the beach date, maybe? During a beautiful winter day? I can't talk now. I must keep an eye out for wildlife in need of my assistance. Hmm. Ariel, the superhero. Let's go forage a little. And Natalia? Bruno's been real sad since Otto left. Wish I knew what to say to cheer the guy up. Yeah, hmm. A 
everybody else is, um, happier, you know, after everything got resolved and stuff, but poor Bruno. I'm hoping there will be an update to the game where he gets a happy ending as well. Although, well, in real life things don't always work out that way, so maybe the developers have kind of wanted to leave in a little bit of sadness as well. We'll see. I don't know, maybe it's just because um, this was a pretty big update. With um, all of the new buildings and building upgrades and uh, the new kinds of farm animals and uh, the new seasonal celebrations and things but um this kind of has at least to me a bit of a feeling of finality to it maybe it's just because it's a sort of um it's the end of the second year but um i don't know We'll see if, um, if there are any more updates to this game in the future. It's just, this kind of feels pretty final. With the, uh, as I said, the end of the second year and all of the stuff that was added, which was a lot. And, uh... The Wellspring mystery got resolved as well. Today we honor those who have come before us, embrace those who join us here, and prepare for those who will someday take our place at the wheel. On this, the longest night of the year, we celebrate the light. With this offering, we welcome the rebirth of the sun. <laughs> yeah, Sebastian said it pretty well. Whoa. Beautiful, as always. Did we check out all of the places where forage can spawn during the day? I guess we did because there's nothing here. Well, um, I think... Oh, hello, Juliet. What are you listening to, Juliet? I don't think you'd know the band. They're pretty punk. <laughs> and just because I'm an adult, I can't know punk bands? Hmm. I think we've now seen all of the different festivals and gatherings and events that are currently in the game. I don't think there's going to be anything more. So basically all that we have left to see is the um, rainbow sheep and the rainbow alpaca and then maybe the creation of some of those magical outfits. So, not a whole lot, 
but, um, well, we still have like, um, some days worth of, of content here. So, um, tomorrow we'll see what happens. We'll at least go and talk to some people, see if they have any new dialogue for us. And then pretty soon we'll have a new baby sheep, hopefully a rainbow colored one. And, um, yeah, we'll see what else. But for now, thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.